Hey guys, it's coming up to 11.30 on a Tuesday evening. It's the 12th of June. So, since the haul video I did, we have got a lot of work done on the workshop. Basically all four walls are almost constructed. I say almost because we've got one wall left to put the boards on on the outside can't really do the inside yet till we've got the electric cable to do the electrics because we're going to hide the cables in the wall cavity um, but other than that the outsides are all done still a lot to do there's the you know the leveling of the floor so we've got to get the cement for that there's the doors to go on the windows to go in the roof to go on like I said the electrics to go in paneling on the inside of the walls to go on and I do believe he's putting insulation in as well for winter pardon me and uh, yeah still a lot of work to do uh, so I've still not done a lot around here my brother did come but try that again did come up last Wednesday I think and just helped me clean up the flat a bit because I needed to declutter and whatnot. Because that's pretty much what the problem was. There was just stuff everywhere and it was doing my head in. And a couple of hours in the evening with two of us doing it was a lot quicker than me spending the whole day doing it. But yeah, so much thanks to my brother for helping me do that. Um... Just replied to a comment and realised how piss poor my grammar was. Didn't realise at the time I wrote it, but I just read it back and <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> that was real bad. Anyway, I've got a video to edit up, aka this one when I'm done, so I've got the laptop on ready. I did take my pills even, didn't I? Two missing? Yep. There's two missing from the tray, because that's a new tray I started this morning. And then I knew I'd had this evening this evening's pill don't know what my tongue is doing my brain's doing one thing my tongue's doing something else anyway since last Thursday I have been out and bought a few more bits and pieces and I've got something here that was given to me as well um, basically Yesterday, me and my brother went into town because my brother's looking for um, old video games and consoles and things. He's he's getting heavily into up, uh, you know, retro consoles and games. So far, he's got PS One, two PS Ones, a PS Two, a Nintendo Entertainment System that just needs the cables and whatnot, but we do know it works. Uh, did he say he's got a Nintendo 64? think he has. So yeah, he's looking for all that. I really wish I hadn't gotten rid of my Mega Drive and Master System now. Because um, I would have probably done a deal with him with some of his old PC parts or something when he had them. <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> um... So uh, we went into a shop called Disc and Dat, which was formerly Black Records. Um, as you've probably noticed, I went from talking about Black Records in a lot of my vlogs to basically not mentioning it at all. Well, that's because the Black Records closed. What happened was the original owner sold the business to another guy that I actually, I know the other guy that bought it. <laughs> we go back quite a few years now, so. Um, and this other guy, you know, tried to improve the shop. Basically, the shop was just an untidy mess of stuff everywhere. No organisation, you know, no rhyme or reason to anything up there. It just looked untidy and messy. And in the guy's own words, the guy's the guy that bought the business, he said, you can polish a turd, but it's still a turd. 
and apparently there is problems, so I'd heard, with the guy paying rent. So there was rent arrears on the shop as well, so the new owner just closed it. Um, put all the stock in a storage, and literally, I think it was about three or four months later, he opened up a new one when another shop um, became vacant in town. And he just went under the name Discondat, and it's a lot tidier and a lot more organised in there, and a lot more welcoming because of that fact. But anyway, we went in there, my brother bought a Nez, um, and I actually bought some die-cast cars. Now, I know I've said in the past I'm not really collecting them that much, except for ones that catch my eye, or emergency vehicles. But um, I did get some emergency vehicles, I'm just going to flick you around. I got these, and believe it or not, these are all 50p each, even though a lot of these are probably worth at least a pound each. This one probably a little bit more, because it is mint. No, it isn't. It's near mint, because I just realised there's a tiny little nick in the paintwork on there. Oh, what a bummer. But still, that's probably worth about £1 to £1.50. And I just paid 50p for all of these, actually. And I got some of these larger ones for 50p as well. That one's still got the original £4 sticker on it. Not that one. I've had that ages. But I got that one, that one, that one, and that one. Again, not 100% mint. But at least this one is complete because these spotlights do like to get broken off on these. But uh, yeah, it's just stock from the days of Black Rockles that you'd had kicking around for so long. I think you just got fed up with it and threw it in a box of toy cars for 50p just to get rid of it. And I don't blame him because it was either that or, you know, spend a lot of time on eBay listing them all because I know how many were there in the days of Black Records. There was a lot. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, having to pay your PayPal fees, your eBay fees, your postage, you know, having to go down to post office and post everything. You know, you've got to think, is it actually worth that hassle or not? And I guess to him it wasn't. He doesn't, well, actually, he doesn't strike me as the type that likes to use eBay a great deal. Um, in a, in a, on one hand, I can't, I don't blame him. My tongue's not working properly. Anyway. Aside from that, we had a look around the charity shops as well, because there's always video games in there. Usually football games. All the really crap games, especially for the PS2, you know, like bloody The Buzz games, or Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and games like that, you know, that people would have played about once and then threw it in the, a closet somewhere. But I did actually find some games that I wanted. I found Doom 3. I've got Doom for the PS1. So I figured I'd get that as well. I have got Soldier of Fortune Payback and Soldier of Fortune Double Helix. Because I like the one I played for the PS2. I think there's two for the PS2. I think. I can't remember now. But anyway, and I've got four different Soldier of Fortune games for the PC now. Uh, Serious Sam, The Second Encounter. I just thought that looked funny. There's all sorts going on there. You know, I'm not really sure what is supposed to be going on. There's some sort of demon up in this corner. There's some sort of weird man wielding a chainsaw. There's this dude, which I assume is Sam, holding a minigun. It just looks so weird, I just thought, I've got to play it. <laughs> and, because I want to give at least one of these a go, Farming Simulator 2009. I know it's quite old now, but... Graphics look pretty good on that. And a couple of CDs I got. Now that's what I call Music 83. And 77. Now, now I think about it, I think I've got number 83. I think I've bought a double again. Oops. I won't know till I actually crawl under this black table that I've uh, picked up. 
I'm glad it's black because it sort of matches all of this. And eventually I've been thinking of, you know, painting that and that black. Possibly that and that, just so it all matches. Thinking about it. I do a lot of thinking, anyway. You've probably noticed on camera as well. I've got a BMX here. And I've got a Rally Safar Shopper bike. Or commuter bike, whatever you would call it. It's not really a folder, because it doesn't fold in the middle. And there's no quick release on the handlebars or the seat. You need a spanner. I suppose you could still do it with a spanner, but the quick release bit is uh, quicker and easier. But anyway, I paid £5 for both of these, and I know exactly where this came from. <laughs> I got a message from um, an acquaintance of mine that does a lot of house and garden clearance and whatnot, and office clearance. And, uh, you know, he offered both of these for £5, or they were going to be scrapped, so... Didn't really need this, don't really have a use for it, but I thought, well, it's a pair, it's only a fiver, so let's go for it. <laughs> but I know this one came from a garden on the same road my mum lives on, because I passed it every day for the past three weeks. And I didn't notice at the time, because the guy messaged me when I was down at mum's, he messaged me on Facebook and just showed me a photo of this and this but I rode past the house again and noticed that this and some other junk had gone from the front garden and I get home put the PC on see the guy um, had taken a photo of the back of his van with this on it and all the other gear and I was like now I know where the BMX come from because I was a bit suspicious thought it does look familiar <laughs> but it doesn't need a lot of work. It really doesn't. Um, it needs a few bits adjusted and tightened up. Like the front brake doesn't have a rear one fitted for some reason. They've taken that off. Um, I'm going to swap this lever for that one. Because that one's not got a chipped end. This one has. Because I'm going to take all the rear brake. Well, what's left of the rear brake, which is basically just that lever this bit of cable there's nothing sort of from from here onwards it's like it's been cut actually it has look it's been cut so that second part is no good and I don't have a spare one so I couldn't fix it either way besides I've noticed a lot of BMX's um, they seem to like one brake anyway Either one brake or no brakes, that seems to be the popular two options on BMX bikes. Especially on the skate park, so... And... So I'm not fussed about leaving that one brake on there. It's not worth a great deal, but I know I could shift it for some pocket money anyway. Uh, as for that one, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Front brake works, gears work. Rear brake acts like a handbrake. You pull it on and it stays on because the cable is sticking. Uh, I don't know if the tyres hold air. It looks like it's just been stored for a very long time, you know, in a shed because it's full of dust and muck. It might clean up and just have a bit of surface rust on it. So the only thing I can do is actually clean it up and just see how well it cleans up. Chrome is pitted, but I've seen a heck of a lot worse, so... I could just, you know, clean it up and get it working as it is, or I could completely strip it down to its component parts, spray the frame a custom colour, you know, colour of my choice, and replace the brake calipers with some nice shiny ones and whatnot, and, pardon me, handlebars and handlebar stem, etc. You know, really clean it up and restore it, or, you know, I could just, like I said, get it working as it is. What do you think I should do? Should I do a restoration on it? Or should I just get it working? I'll leave that for my viewers. You can decide. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah. You know, that was an utter pig to find the bolts or replacement bolts for these legs. But I got that. I don't like that drawer under there either. There's literally that much space between the top of the table and the drawer, but 
can't get to that top drawer and I don't want to put this to the front because I want to use this as a workbench as well as have my little fish tank on there that I want to get. I'm hoping I can get one that will be, you know, that will sit under here nicely. I hope. If I have to actually trim the legs and make them shorter, I will do that. And my dad's got um, three fish tanks. Uh, I don't know if he wants to sell them to me or if he's going to let me have one. I don't know. I haven't really spoken to him about that yet. We'll come to some sort of agreement anyway. But the other thing I got for free is this. It's a big TV. Well, I say a big TV. It's not that big. It's um, quite old. It's 13 years old. It doesn't have VGA on it, unfortunately. I was hoping it had that at least so I could use it as a monitor. Um, but it doesn't. <laughs> uh, but it does have two HDMI sockets on it. Um, it was my stepdad's, he owned this, he's owned it for 13 years, but turning it on has become quite a chore. He reckon he can spend up to 40 minutes trying to turn it on. Which tells me there's a bit of a power issue in there. And I have noticed it's not showing up in this poor light, but a lot of these vents are actually clogged with fluff. They're clogged solid with fluff. So I'm thinking... Well, it's very likely, especially as the power supply is probably in that area, because that's where the power cable goes in, that something on that has overheated and failed, which is why it's such a pain. I'm actually thinking that it's likely a capacitor or two have failed from the heat that's built up in there. Of course, I'm not going to know until I open it up. But uh, I will be surprised if I don't see any bloated capacitors in there when I open that up. In a future video, I'm going to open it up and we'll clean it all out and have a look. So, it could turn into a, video, um, a repair video or two, because I think I'll have to do that over two videos at least. Because uh, if it is capacitors that I've got to replace, I'll probably have to order some. But, uh, speaking of videos... I've got a few planned that are not um, going to be vlog related. They are going to be on something, doing something. I've got a video to reshoot about a PC that I've got sitting in the kitchen that I got for free. So I lost the footage. Uh, and I've got a custom build I want to do. I've actually decided what I'm going to do with this 2002 Thermal Take PC case. That one over there, that was kindly given to me by a friend, because he picked it up at a car boot. Um, and this is my brother's suggestion. He suggested a gaming PC from that sort of era. So, I was going to do it as a Windows XP machine. But I'm actually wondering, as it's 2002, should I do that? Or should I do Windows 2000? No, I'll stick to Windows XP. <laughs> Because 99.9% .9 of the PC games I've actually got here will run on Windows XP, so. The only problem is it's too tall for for, uh, for where I want to put it. What the hell is wrong with my tongue tonight? Uh, yes, yeah, so it's that, that, that. Um... I'm sure that table's not level. Oh, I've done that. Um, yeah, anyway. The idea is, like I said, I want to use that. Did I say? I want to use the table. I'm losing track of things now. But, uh, I want to use this table, not only to put the fish tank on, but as a work table. Because it's actually at a good height. I've got my other office chair thing in there that I'm going to bring in here. That's why I don't want to bring that chair forward. Um, so yeah, I was going to put a little fish tank at the back there. Well, actually, it could go a lot the whole length of that table because I'd only need to use the front. Um, I suppose if I really wanted to, I could set up a PC on the front here as well. Safe taking it into the kitchen. 
But yeah, because I like playing around with my soldering arm, I mean, I did build this the other day, or modify it. Bicycle light. I got these on eBay a few years ago. Just a cheap LED, five red LEDs in them, and it had all these changeable covers on. I think it had blue, red, amber, green, and just clear. So, me being me, modified it to blue lights. <laughs> it did not take me long to do that at all. That's not the first bicycle light I've modified like that either. But I was bored. I had all these blue LEDs in my little box of loose LEDs. And I just thought, well, you know, practice my soldering skills. Desoldering the other, well, what I did, I went through them one by one, desoldered one, put the new one in, desoldered the next one, put the new one in. So, uh, went really well and I was happy with the solder joints, so. The only problem is with that light, the um, lens doesn't stay on because one of the clips break, that's why I said they're cheap. Because I've barely used them and the clips, I've actually got another one, I've got two. I might have a look on eBay and see if I can still find them. I've still got these ones. Mm. Now I'm seeing blue dots, so I shouldn't have done that. <coughs> right. Oh, before I disappear, I am going to be walking in the street parade for this year's North Walsham Fun Day. Um, it's getting so popular that they've now spread it over three days, a Friday, a Saturday, and then the main day on the Sunday, which I'm not actually not going to be there for this year, because me and Mum have got other plans. We want to go to Buxton's, Buxton Village um, yard sale, see if there's anything we can pick up, any cheap bargains and whatnot. Um, yeah. Um, that's for the community shop, the one I volunteer at to deliver the um, leaflets for, which I've got a pile of to do. Still. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be holding the banner. I think it's a bit of free advertisement for the community shop. Because all the funds uh, once running costs have been taken out, like the rent for the shop and electric bill and whatnot, everything else that's made is donated to local organisations, um, children's events, children programmes, other, yeah, basically it just goes back into the community for various projects and things, <clears throat> which I actually think is a great idea. You know, a community supporting the community. I've already got some donations I keep meaning to take in as well. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble on for much longer because I want to get this video edited and put up because I've got the laptop on. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye!